At Rosotics, we're really here to finally bring good method of 3D printing to heavy industry. We're starting in the aerospace industry, which as our product just debuted, Mantis, we are really optimizing to print both rocket fuselage and also the dome structures of rockets. As we kind of perfect that process and, and kind of learn other geometries of printing, we want to go to all other types of industries as well. We focus primarily on very, very large parts. And that is where we believe 3D printing really should be applied. Parts that take a long time to make, a lot of cost, a lot of expense, and a lot of infrastructure. And luckily, this is something that 3D printing handles very well. For us, we thought, well, 3D printing is a great idea. We love additive manufacturing. Can we be one of the pioneers of the more uh, you know, metal side? What can we bring? And so the two primary metals we're focusing on are both stainless steel and aluminum. So the Mantis design, it was initially something that was in literally a napkin sketch between me and Austin of how do you crack the problem of scale. And what we had to do was engineer an entirely new way to 3D print a metal. Our product is the largest commercially available metal 3D printer in the world. And that system is launching later this year. We've already seen since we've announced it a enormous demand from aerospace and adjacent industries. So we are beginning the next stage, which is really exciting to us, which is moving that machine into the beginnings of assembly and production. It took us a long time to figure out where we wanted to go, but as we looked further in Phoenix, we realized there is such a great opportunity here. We needed somewhere with a large door, um, somewhere that had enough kind of floor space as well, a little bit of office space. And as soon as we stepped foot here, it was just gorgeous. Gorgeous hangars, really great new facilities, and so it was kind of a no-brainer for us to get involved here. The next stage we're going into is going to be very exciting. We're going to be expanding quite rapidly and showing not just Mesa and Arizona, but the United States at large, what we're capable of doing using 3D printing. I believe very strongly that an optimist is, is something that is forged. And with me and Austin, our sense of optimism was forged by just being extremely stubborn about the future, and that's what we're trying to show as well to others in what we're doing, you know, at such a young age.